E3, E3, all the good stuff has come out. I just did my uh, Microsoft video. Now I'm going to talk about Bethesda. Bethesda t kicked ass and took names in my account. I'm going to go ahead and say it was nearly a B plus to an A. It's actually close to an A. I don't think rating. I went through Microsoft and said what I didn't like and I gave them a C. A lot of people are giving them a C, C to a B rating. They showed off uh, Rage 2, which started out with a uh, with an Andrew WK coming out and doing some some rock music, and actually it was pretty damn good. At first I was like, what the hell? And I went, oh, okay, this is cool. Doom Eternal, the second Doom, which it looks like it's going to be Doom on Earth. There's twice as many types of uh, demons. I saw demons in there I don't think I've seen before. I need to rewatch that. No release date, but more Doom. Just, what else can you ask for? Prey, Moon Crash, a bunch of new add-ons for prey i never got into that game but it looks fun it looks like it's going to give the prey fans a lot to play uh wolfenstein young blood it's the guy bj uh and anya's twin daughters pretty much the main character had had uh, of course he had twins and this is going to be a co-op a co-op wolfenstein I told my buddy, I was like, dude, this is another co-op game. That's interesting. Kind of put it not on the back burner, but just it's 2019. Wait a minute. Again, another neat surprise. And co-op in the id <laughs> Wolfenstein world. I, I like that. I'm going to get skip Fallout 76. There's a lot I got to talk about. Elder Scrolls Blades is Elder Scrolls on the phone, which looks kind of weird, but it looks interesting. And it looks like it's going to give huge you know potential for people to play with your phone against somebody on computer they want this to go everywhere on consoles phones vr and it's interesting um it's just more elder scrolls elder scrolls online got you know a nice description to try to for new summer set it looked cool and then the last two things which i know i'm going to come back to but is starfield is your next big game set in space it's single player and this is what they've been working on and I don't know much about it other than I'm optimistic. I'm like, Bethesda and space, focusing on single player looks like. Again, I mean, it's, we already saw interviews about it. If you haven't seen it, bring it on. Then the last thing they saw, they showed, excuse me, and he, pretty much they pulled a Steve Jobs one more thing, or one last thing, is announcement trailer for the Elder Scrolls Six, just a flyover. And basically, Elder Scrolls VI and Starfield are next-gen games, which tells you that these games are going to come out on the PS5 and the Xbox Two or whatever else. They're not. They're probably out there. Probably 2020. I'm guaranteeing you these are probably going to be slated for when these companies like Microsoft and Sony are going to bring out new consoles. Look forward to that. Oh, I'm looking forward. To, I actually look forward to both of them. Now let's go talk about Fallout 76. It is. A prequel that you're the first people out of the vault 76 and the Virginia you know West Virginia area the mountains and it is totally online it is not an MMO it's more like fallout but co-op and one thing about it is there's multiple interviews which they're not they're going to try to make you can play solo you can't ignore people or you can get up a few friends. It looks like four, that magic number four, and do all types of stuff. There is, you know, there's no NPCs. Now, a lot of people have been ranting and raving about it. I'm like, how can there be NPCs if there's nobody living outside of the vault? Makes sense. There's NPCs through, you know, hollow, hollow tapes and bots. There's robots, you know, Robtrons and all, uh, you know, all the Robco stuff out, to, out there. It's basically makes sense and i'm actually i was actually going ugh i was talking to epically geeky and my my friends in the back channel we call it back channel and we got a chat room on facebook because i didn't want it to be some weird mmo it's not it's even they said there's not thousands there's not even hundreds of people when you get into a server you have a few dozen people that's it in a map four times bigger Four times bigger than Fallout 4. So they're, they're saying that they're trying to not make it griefy. <laughs> Sorry, my light died. I hadn't charged it a bit. I said, you know, they're going to have a beta. 
they're going to have break it's called the break it early test application they're going to try to balance this what Todd Howard's talking about they're going to have do this is the best where it's not going to be griefy that's the word he said it's going to be soft core survival they're not going to make it a place where people can grief you and me dicks about it and I'm very excited about that I went from going to going okay it reminds me of a Borderlands or maybe a Destiny where you don't you get to play in all the, this world this Fallout 76 world which is huge it's populated by the people who just came out and some people could be evil some people are not you can try to get around being grief it's going to have growing pains but I'm very excited for it and it comes out November 14th of this year they had a big pre-order uh, for a you know power armor helmet and I think a lot of them has been sold out I don't care for it but it looks really cool in a map and all sorts of neat things map glows in the fucking dark just like just exactly that's exactly what Todd Howard said if you haven't seen that press conference there goes the my clock in there if you can hear it um watch it it's funny as shit but I am very happy everything Bethesda showed off was interesting I could look at Bethesda games and play something. I just don't get into them a lot. So this has been over seven minutes. Um, had a little hiccup with the light, which I'm going to, you know, you saw that cut. It's interesting. Bethesda kicked ass. It's an A+. Plus, and they've been kicking ass for two or three years now. More Wolfenstein. More Doom. Yes, we're going to bring the Elder Scrolls out. Oh, a big all-on Fallout. You know, just Rage 2 and all these cool things. It's, it's just great. They have a 1E3. I don't know if I can say anybody's 1E3 because Sony did a great day, great job. I'm going to record that real quick here. They're going to slowly put out my, my videos. But but they also did a wonderful job. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Everything should have popped up on the screen. Subscribe, share. Go to twitch.tv forward slash Vicky Gamer. All my stuff goes there as well. And did you like Bethesda's E3? Let me know. Vicky Gamer.